Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to outline shapes um, in Cricut Design Space. This video is um, actually brought about from a request that I received from Lady Alpine. She was wanting to um, add some foil accents and wasn't sure how to get the individual outlines of the shape she needed. So, uh, without further ado, here we go. So let's start pulling in some shapes. I'm gonna start, uh, let's start with a star. In this one, I'm just gonna do a very simple basic outline to get that hollowed out shape. Here's my star, I've made it a little bit bigger so that we can see. We're gonna to come to the offset and its initial offset is a 0 0.25. And you can see that's, that's kind of a large offset, but let's go ahead and hit apply. So we have our original star in the middle and the offset star behind it. If we have both of these selected and we slice, this star will be sliced out of the middle of our offset. And now we're left with the outline. So there's an easy, thick outline. Let's say you want it a little thinner. Let's pull in a circle. Okay, so here's a circle. We're going to do the same thing, offset, and again, it's automatically set to this 0 0.25. Let's make that smaller. I'm going to put it at 0 0.10. And you can see that outline right there, the blue shadow showing you where it's going to be, got a lot smaller. Let's hit apply. And then we're going to slice these two. So select them both, slice. Let's pull the solid circle out and you can see this line, this outline is much thinner than this outline. Okay, those are your basics on how you're going to get the outlines around your shape and that would work for any shape that you have here at all. It would work for any image that you have pulled in. You can do that outline for anything that is there. Okay, what Lady Alpine was wanting to do was add some foil accents um, to her designs. So what you wanna do for this, um, and if you're not wanting to get some foil accents, um, if that's not something you were looking for in this video, you can skip the rest of the video. Uh, for Lady Alpine, this is what you'll do. So you'll pull in your shape that you would like to make your foil from. And in your case, it was kind of a rectangle. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is going to be the card that you're adding the foil to. This is your base layer. I'm going to turn it white. Okay, so here's our card. And now we need to add the, um, the foils. So instead of an offset, we're going to do an inset. So you come up here to your offset button. You know, if you drag it this way, you're getting large offsets. If you drag it this way, you're getting insets. We're going to put this to a negative 0 0.15. And you'll see that's going to pull it inside. I'm going to hit apply. So this will be foil line 1. And then um, let's add like two more. Let's get three foil lines. So we're going to do it again. Offset, negative 0.15, apply. One more. Offset, negative 0.15, apply. I've left them all the same size so that they will all be equally distant from each other. Um, you can make them larger or smaller. It is 100% your preference, whatever you want to do. I'm going to take this basic um, square, this card, and I'm going to move it off to the side for just a second. These are the three, and I'll turn them three different colors so that you can see exactly what we're working with. Okay, so you see the three different colors here? These will be your foil outlines, and you can add as many of these as you want. Um, select all of them. Just drag your box around and hit attach. They're all going to become one color now, and that's fine because they're all going to be the same color foil. Then from up here, instead of a basic cut, 
you want to take this to foil and you can change it. It can be fine point foil. Let me put the card back underneath it so you can see how it's going to look. It can be um, medium point foil or it can be bold. I'm going to go ahead and make this a bold foil. Yeah, come here. Okay, so those will be your foil lines. You want to select everything and make sure it's all perfectly centered and then attach it again. And what this does is it tells your Cricut to foil these three rectangles, cut the white cardstock. And that's what you're going to end up with when you're done. Um, some things to keep in mind though, you have to attach all of your foil lines so that they all are made together at the same time. And then you have to attach the foil lines to your background. All right, that's all I have for this video. We'll see you next time.